It's been five years, Bucky. What an adorable little playground you have here, champ. He stopped Baki's punch. Your punches are still slow as ever, and your body control is still exceedingly laughable. Finger. I am Yujito. Long ago, this boy was my son. <laughs> if your league showcases the best fighters on Earth, it is incomplete without my name. Hey, King. Orochi. The conflict between the two of us is mm. five years older than yours and Baki's. I reserve nothing but sincere anticipation of this moment with every breath since our last meeting. I remember you by these keepsakes you've given me. <laughs> huh. Topo is bleeding. I have my own score to settle with you. If you'd been only a half-step closer, you'd have had my heart. They fought each other before? Mr. Commissioner, I would like to request that you reinstate me and put my name back on your roster. It's already on the roster. I never even took it off. Then before you and all these witnesses, I challenge this monster to my first match. Very well. But you won't get away from me with just a few scars this time. <laughs> It's the Tiger Slayer against the King in an underground match? Then the match will take place in three days! I sincerely apologize, Baki. It caught me off guard. I got carried away in the moment and I acted without any consideration of your feelings. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. You can't beat him. He's untouchable, much less unbeatable. I know from experience. They don't just give out nicknames, you know. They call him the king because he's the best in the world. Actually, Baki, Orochi's not the only one who feels he owes your father a lesson. Right? There are more than you know. If you take this fight, make sure you win. I'm telling you, it's pointless to argue about who should be the first to die, because that's what you're doing. I swear, I couldn't keep up with you even if I had nine lives, Ujiro. Hey, Stridum. Hmm? Pull over here on the left. Hey, Yujiro! A boxing gym. So what are we doing here? What are you saying? You think you know what he knows and he's learned more. You think you know his strength and he's stronger. He's like a monster. Constantly feeding and growing. Mm -hmm. But his speed, strength, toughness, and even his ego all pale in comparison to his killer instinct. It's like it drives him the same way hunger drives you. It gives his life meaning to seek out an opponent, then hurt him, or even kill him. It's a game he'll never stop. It's a thirst he'll never quench. Mm -hmm. You look pretty healthy. If you're here to join, take a seat over there. Sit in it! Don't literally take it! Hey! That's better. Now no one can leave class early. Listen, old man. 
doing that here is like stirring up a bee's nest. It's okay. But wait, champ. But nothing. I'll take on Grandpa right now. Hmm. Because of your impoliteness, I'm not inclined to go easy on you. You must be the champion of nothing. The champ can't even touch this guy. <laughs> Champ! He's like a great white shark that gets hungrier the more it eats. Bucky, I've known your father a lot longer than you have, son. It may be hard for you to believe, but you're not telling me anything I don't already know about him. Even a shark can bite off more than it can chew. Don't you believe that you'd still be the same fighter tomorrow, if you hadn't done all this today? Yes, but now I can sleep well tonight. I don't understand your obsession regarding my fight with your father, Baki. Why should I forfeit? I don't want to see any unnecessary death. Hmm. Stop your joking with me, boy. You're not still operating under the assumption that I haven't got a chance against him. No disrespect intended, but your skyscraper has a better chance of surpassing the sky than you do of even scratching Yujiro's surface. Even if you get closer than anyone else, you won't live to enjoy your legacy. Listen, Bucky. Maybe this won't completely convince you. But I'd like you to come spend the day with me. It just so happens that it's a special fighting day I schedule once a month to keep me sharp. At that time, I give anyone a chance to fight me as long as they're qualified. An open house, if you will. We are some of the most fortunate individuals in the world for this opportunity. Mr. Orochi is the world's greatest fighter, therefore the chance to beat the best gives us a chance to be the best. Enter. These are the men who have qualified to take Sensei's challenge today. Hmm. Sensei. Bow to the master. <gasps> we aren't here for my ego. We are here to fulfill a greater purpose. So then, let's get down to business, shall we? Sir! How would you like to give it a try, son? Huh? You took all the trouble to come out here, so you might as well take a shot. You say it like I have a choice. You know a real fighter could never pass up an invitation like that. And it's my pleasure to accept it. But I'll warn you, you're standing in my dojo, Baki. Even if you can defeat me, you won't make it out of here easily. Huh? <laughs> He's only kidding. Lighten up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you were being serious. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you brat? You should forfeit! If you can't dodge that, then taking the match is the same as suicide. I'm only doing this because I care about your life. I don't think you understand what the penalty is if you lose. <laughs> I guess our match has begun already. Hey, Dopo, didn't you hear a word I just said? Sometimes all it takes is a good hard shot. It's the perfect prescription to make sure that I really come alive. I'm glad you did that, Baki. Thank you. Thank you? I'll prove my merit to you. 
before I prove it to your father. Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna do a palm blow to your face, so be ready to guard. Now then, here we go. What's wrong, Bucky? Don't you think I'm a trustworthy guy? I can't move. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna do a front kick. Make sure you defend this time. Ready? Why am I hitting you? Spear! Backhand! Jab! Stop! Just wait a minute! Every day for over 50 years of my life, I've practiced the exercise I've just shown you here today. That amount of training with this type of technique could give me the ability to make an idiot out of a master, even render a champion helpless. It's very impressive. But somehow Yujiro defeated you just now. What makes you so eager to die? <laughs> What do you want? I had the feeling that I lost my chance when I saw the match with you and Dopo had been arranged. After all these years, I'm ready to take my revenge. Now. Do you honestly think you could beat me, Matobe? Hmm. How about that park over there? You mean you prefer the cozy green grass to the hard concrete? I don't want any interruptions. It might spoil the fun. Come on. <laughs> Ever since the day you defeated me, I've studied every possible strike in the book, and I've worked to master all of their counter moves. <laughs> I can see moves of yours now that I couldn't when I was eight years younger. Your training has paid off most impressively. I'd be happy to reward you now for all the progress you've made. What's wrong? Why do you hesitate, Matobe? It's the fist you've always dreamed about. How dare you? <laughs> what the? Uh... <laughs> You're fortunate that we fought on grass instead of the concrete. Very well, if you won't drop it, let's talk about it then. You want to know why I must fight you, Jiro? Yes. There's more to this than just avenging one stupid loss. You're very perceptive. I lost to you, Jiro, but I wouldn't call it a fight. It was ten years ago. <laughs> that was incredible! <laughs> wow, the whole bottle in only one shot! Drink up! We can only celebrate the construction of your landmark once. You're right. Bring me some more. Don't give yourself alcohol poisoning. You heard the man. Yeah, it's a big day. <laughs> Live it up. No <laughs> Orochi. Topo! Oh. I heard you were the best, but you're a mere child in my hands. How disappointing. It was the alcohol. It slowed me down by only a fraction of a second. You've got no one but yourself to blame for that. Every day is a battle for a fighter, and wine is a weakness, not an excuse. You're wise beyond your years, Baki. I've not touched a drop of alcohol since. Yujiro <laughs> isn't the only man who can reinvent himself. As champion, I've kept to myself for three years, waiting for the day he would return. 
And just as quickly as he re-entered my life, you snatched him away from me. <laughs> Be prepared for what is coming when you lose. <laughs> Baki, will you be going straight home today? Yeah, why? <gasps> oh, no reason. <gasps> hey there, champ. I've been waiting for you. Champ? Fight me. I can't wait any longer for you. Hey, Cosway, why don't I catch up with you later? Don't send her off. It's not as good as the underground arena, but it's always a little better with an audience, don't you think? Especially a pretty one. Looks like this guy's talking to the wrong person, huh? Come on. Wrong person? What do you mean? Hey, come back! It's me, <laughs> Kato. You remember, right? Dopo's friend. No. Oh, come on. You met me in the locker room. I I've seen you fight twice already. I don't know what you're talking about. You may be the underground champ, but your memory stinks! The underground champ? Uh... You didn't know? Your boyfriend looks like a kid, but lots of people think of him as the baddest dude in the world. That guy's nuts, huh? We better go feed Musashi. Baki! But... Baki, wait! I was sent to deliver a message from Tokugawa! What's with that guy? That's better. Mother, some strange man came up to Baki and me after school today. And? He called him the champion of some underground fighting circuit. Can you believe that? He must have had him confused with someone else. What do you think? Well, what did Baki say? Nothing. But he was acting really weird about it, too. <laughs> Sit down, Kozwe. I think it's time we had ourselves a little talk. Your father was a real fighter. He fought in the underground leagues, like that guy mentioned. He worked his whole life to become the world's greatest, and the circuit was a good platform, until ultimately it killed him. Baki, in many ways, is just like your father in his goals and his interests. And his accomplishments won't bring fame or fortune. He fights for pride. What good is that? It may not be for us to understand. Most women are fulfilled by what they are, but most men fulfilled by what they do. It's all about honor to them, Kozue. How oh, dumb! Boys are really stupid, then. Why would you risk your life to win some award? Personally, I found it very appealing to see your father put so much of himself into achieving his hopes and his dreams. He was a very ambitious man. No, Mother. It's not appealing for a man to die before age 30. How could something be so great if it takes someone you love away? And it'll happen to Baki, too. If he's got the same senseless dream, he'll have the same senseless fate. I'll be back by morning, Musashi. I was sent to deliver a message from Tokugawa! <laughs> you ran all the way over here just for that? <laughs> I thought it might be important. Well, as long as you're here, I have a question for you. What do you think? I'd like to make you the main event to follow Dopo and Yujiro's match. I've found an opponent for my favorite champion that he won't regret. Even Yujiro and Dopo might be surprised with me this time. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Its neck has been broken. This must be the tiger from the circus reported missing earlier this morning. How did it end up here? He was killed by a man. <laughs> but sir, who aside from you could kill a tiger with only his bare hands? Hmm.
Doctor, where have you been? A little hunting expedition. <laughs>